All right. I want to do some investigatory work on uh, this engine. Um, it is a dedicated weasel engine. The uh, serial number up here, you probably won't be able to see it, I don't know. First three are T24. All of the engines were, from what I've been told, uh, were designated T24, and we know that number five cylinder was stuck uh, when I bought this engine. Um, I pulled the drain plug. I had drained the oil a while ago, but I pulled the drain plug again to get rid of any other water. So when I roll the engine drain plug up, it won't go into the bottom of the engine. So we're going to pull ahead, roll the engine over, pull the oil pan. Uh, we're going to disconnect the uh, connecting rod journal cap at number five and uh, punch number five out of the cylinder. And I want to see if the engine's going to roll over uh, as easily as it did before, or easier than it did before, I should say. So let's get busy. Okay. Okay, so I uh, removed all the bolts. That was noisy, so I didn't want to record that. And uh, they were pretty loose to begin with, so here comes the oil pan. Uh oh. <laughs> now I know why. Okay. <laughs> I know why the uh, engine was tight Move around. When I rolled it over, when I rolled it over, I heard something go ka clink, ka clink inside here. And look what we have. broken cylinder skirt and another piece there so I can't really get that out of there and it's non-ferrous metal so I can't use a magnet um, let's see it's between the camshaft and uh, the rod cap bolt right down in there so let me uh, get that out of there and we'll take a further look be right back all right so I got the uh, little end 
the cap off and the crank will need to be polished at the very least. It feels pretty smooth but there are some scratches in it and here's the end with the bearing in it and uh, it could use a bearing kit too so I'm gonna punch the punch the piston out now and see what it looks like be right back all right got that number five piston out it's not very big but we can see there's a crack right there and I don't know why it would have a separation line like that in there um, the oil ring and the two other compression rings are pretty well stuck they won't move and then this lower ring fell out and I guess it clips around around the bottom of the piston here and I doubt that it's supposed to have a gap that big let me get the big wrench on it see how easily it turns over now oh yeah that's nice and smooth So number five was the culprit. There's an engine shop near my house that'll do all the machine work, uh, right down to sizing the rings and the uh, uh, the insert bearings. All I got to do is put it back together. I think I can do that. So. Uh, next I'm gonna roll the engine back over we're gonna take a look at the cylinder okay we have some pretty good light that's number six it doesn't look bad there's number four and number three and two is at the top of the stroke a number one that uh, that cylinder doesn't look too bad. But number five, on the other hand, you can see that ring where it was stuck. And when I got this engine, pulled the head off, the piston was down at the bottom of the stroke. So uh, you can see all of the, the rust right here. Um, you know the spark plug was left out of the engine for a very long time um, those champion spark plugs are really old I don't know when uh, I don't know when they were made but I can probably look it up um, so it's gonna need to have the deck surfaced it'll need to have the cylinder head surfaced I'll probably cut 50 thousandths off um, this little 65 horsepower engine is, I think, 6.7 to 1 compression ratio. So I'll try and bring it, bring the compression ratio up um, a little higher so that uh, it will burn 87 octane fuel more efficiently. Octane prevents gasoline from burning. And back during World War II in the 40s, the octane rating was about 67 to 72. Um, they were, you know, the War Department was making, the gas companies were making so much gasoline that uh, it was pretty inconsistent. Close, but like for these old engines, you know, 67 to 72 was normal. Uh, that pr produced a lot of carbon buildup, but it gave a much better uh, explosion in the combustion chamber 
uh, which gave you the equivalent horsepower rating. You get a full 65 horse. Today, if I burn 87 in this, at this current uh, compression ratio, I'll probably get like 55 or 50 horsepower. It's just inefficient. And that's throwing away money in, you know, gasoline being so expensive. Uh, so probably what we'll do is we'll have number five sleeved um, to stock and then we'll bore everything out or maybe I'll, if it'll work I'll just have everything bored out to 60 thousandths over that's the next size up on these old pistons but uh, the research I've found and these are 40 thousandths over um, yeah, look, there's an arrow right there pointing front. So I'm glad that the data plate was still here on the side of the engine because it, it shows uh, <laughs> in uh, Norwegian, Overholt Gangden 10662, cylinder boring, plus 40. <laughs> Bearing Erlanger negative 10 under and that's uh v vlog v is uh under 10 um hmm, i don't know which one of those is is uh main bearing and uh journal bearing doesn't matter they're both 10 under so that's good okay that'll do it for this video thanks for watching have a great day